It's Faye. How you doing? Today I'm featuring the clog box from Soko Glam. Lately there's been a buzz on it and it just launched. I'll be giving one of this away and mentioning another bomb ass giveaway at the end so stay tuned my dear. The clog box features 6 products and I love that it's set at a cheaper price altogether compared to buying these one by one. Here's my personal favorite, the glow cream. I'll be using some of these products in a sec so don't worry honey bun fun. Birch Juice Hydro Sleep pack by E Nature, aka the secret to bouncy skin in the morning. Highly recommend for those who are looking for a comfortable cream that won't suffocate you in the middle of the night. Another favorite, Misha's All Around Safe Black Sebum Zero with the SPF of 50. Neogen's Bio Peel Gauze Peeling Lemon Pad, similar to the green tea pad. The Pure Pearl Station Revitalizing Facial Cleansing Foam by Clavieu. And this does contain a luxurious feel from the pearl extract. It's a cream to foam with texture. And lastly, Manifit Natural Green Tea Pore Care Sheet Mask, which is super acne friendly. And no, I'm not being paid to say any of this. I just truly enjoy the box and I wanted to share my luculent experience. But wait, isn't my hair just A1? I have the coolest hairstyle for a third grader. Knock knock on my dough. Let's get into Momo's makeup tutorial. I know some of you are going to ask me what colored lenses I have on. These are pink icon Olin's cinnamon brown. First, I'm going to take the lemon gauze and exfoliate briefly. My nose feels a little bit cakey from the sebum buildup, so it's necessary to use this to avoid looking like a bakery later on. Again, there's a cotton side and a more textured side. I'm using the glow cream and holy, it has a glossy texture that leaves your skin looking polished. Polished. It's like a primer but way more hydrating for the skin. It literally highlights and brings out your face in all the right ways. I have oily skin and this was amazing on me. Now I'm using Misha's Sun Black and it's amazing for normal to oily skin. The consistency is a bit tougher than others. It is sweat resistant and there's absolutely no greasy feelings. I feel like this product doesn't infuse a lot of oils. That's why it's a bit stiff at first but it works great for oily skin. I love how it dissembled my discoloration in a way. Using a little green cushion corrector, I'm just going to conceal any red peaks that are still showing through to give a more even base before I apply any face makeup. For a couple of days now, I've been personally testing out the Hemesh Artless Perfection Cushion. I like this product, but it's not the most fitting for acne prone skin. I did put a little bit of foundation over my acne areas on top of this cushion, just FYI before you buy. Lately, I've been so into my oily makeup packs, and I've just been loving putting on a bit of primer on top of my nose after foundation or a cushion. Then I blend it in lightly with a beauty blender. Taking my typical concealer and bringing back that 3D shape since it's really one tone right now. Even after that, can you see the glowing cream working its magic underneath? For the eyes, I'm going in with a cream eyeshadow just to lay a neutral base with a muted sparkle to it. Using Bub's B palette, which I love her. I'm taking a bowl and just drawing a line diagonally on the outer corner. Oh, and just to let you know, I'm making Momo's makeup a bit more intense than what she has on because I want you to tell I'm wearing eye makeup. <laughs> For a deeper look, I'm taking the Play 101 Blending Pencil from Etude House in number 12 and going over the eyeshadow mark. If you take your time on this, it blends out beautifully. Love, love, love! I'm going to dot this on the bottom corner as well, but focusing it so it forms a triangular shape like what Momo has. Using shade number one, it's a beige white tone and it's perfect for the under eye puff that everyone goes crazy about. They love emphasizing this on Momo in every makeup look and this blending pencil does the job easily. I realized I didn't have much of that copper touch so I went in with a cream copper shade and added that on the outer corners. It's like a kick in the face like pow my eyes exist kinda look.
I took a break from the eyes, don't know why, but went straight to the brows. Holy bejesus. This eyebrow product from Etude House is no shame in my game. BTW, all the Etude House products I'm using, Silga Glam curated specifically for us, so take advantage of that. This end is the eyebrow pencil. It balances between a cream pencil and almost feels like a gel texture. So good. If you screw open the other end, it's a brow tint. The wand is so small and perfect if you have long eyebrows like me and you want to get up in there. Twist the middle and you got yourself a highlighter embedded in this pencil. OMG, don't play with me. I will whoop your ass with this product three times as hard. Try me. Enough fangirling. I'm using a brown eyeliner. Go ahead and focus only on your waterline. Extend the end the slightest but don't make it too obvious. Finally, a good mascara for Asian eyelashes. I think Etude House did a great job with this waterproof formula. I didn't bother curling my lashes because it naturally lifts up my spidery eyelashes already. Quickly taking the hopeful shade and setting my under eyes, using a bit of that beautiful light matte brown shade, I'm gonna contour my eye puff a little bit just to bring it out. I don't know why I call it an eye puff, but yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Being a hooked fish on Etude House at the moment, I'm gonna contour the nose because the nose is nowhere to be found these days. Go ahead and put it on the side if you want. I like how natural this formula blends, so I went overboard and I just redid my whole nose. Sorry, mom. Using the opposite end, I'm highlighting my bridge. To follow up, I'm dusting a bit of translucent powder on my highlighted areas for safety measures because having oily skin is like living life on the edge, you just never know. I know it doesn't look like she's wearing blush, but R-E-B-E-L is my name. So I'm taking this peachy blush shade, which I adore. It complements my skin well and it doesn't even look like I'm wearing blush, so like come for me. For the lips, I went in with a light apricot tint, then darkened the inner lips with an orange color and just blended my lips a bit with a beauty blender and that's it makeup done i had so much fun recreating this look it's been a while so hopefully y'all weren't too iffy as for the giveaway you can win a round trip to new york city with two nights stay and k beauty shopping with charlotte cho we all know who she is Go. I will leave all the rules and entries and links and you name it below. It's super fun and a great opportunity if you are a beauty YouTuber or you want to start making YouTube videos. The entry to that contest closes on March 31st to US residents only, so check it out. As far as my giveaway, I'll be giving one clog box away. You have to be a subscriber, follow the clog.co and Silk Glam on Instagram, and then comment on this video who you want to see me do a makeup tutorial on next as your entry. This is open to US residents until the 8th of March. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, I'm sending love. Bye! Come now, come now, come now.